Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we are doing another ammo video. We're out at Bass Pro Shops this time and I just wanted to follow up uh, each and every single month with what we're seeing as far as ammo prices. Are they going up? Are they going down? All of that type of stuff. In addition to that, I want to say a huge thank you to Smash Time TV. He's the guy who came up with this idea. He's been doing it on his channel. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, uh, I'll have a link to his channel down in the comment below. He does a uh, gun tube channel out of South Texas. So if you are interested to see what ammo prices are down in Texas, you can check that out on his channel. And I greatly appreciate him and allowing him to use his idea. So <laughs> uh, in addition to that, uh, I wanted to say that this is not me trying to tell you guys where to buy ammo from. If you guys want to purchase it from Bass Pro Shop or Cabela's or whoever else you want to purchase it from, by all means, if you want to order online or support your local shops, that's on your prerogative too. I'm just trying to provide you guys data as to what I am seeing in my area and then allow you guys to bounce that off what you're seeing in your area and spend your money wisely. I do apologize for the wind, it is Kansas, so just expect it, I'm doing it from my phone. Uh, I was passing by, saw it, and I was like, hey, I need to get this video done, so real impromptu type of thing. So with all of that being said, are ammo prices going up? The rumor is that uh, prices are going to skyrocket because of current events and those types of things. Well, uh, there could be a potential for prices to continue to rise, especially throughout the second half of this year. But right now, we're probably not seeing prices too terrible because big box chains like Bass Pro Shop, Cabela's, Academy, Shields, those types of places, are purchasing under contracts. So uh, they'll purchase like 5 million rounds of 9 millimeter for a set price. And then the manufacturer, Winchester, Ruger, um, Remington rather, uh, they have a timetable to deliver those rounds from like 1st of January through the 31st of May or wherever the case may be. And then they get a set price for that. That's why we're kind of seeing a constant on prices. But as we get through the rest of this year, might see prices go up we might see prices go down who knows but uh more than likely it's going to go up everything right now is inflated because of uh, inflation and uh yeah we'll leave it at that so let's get inside and see what is going on with prices here all right so i've always really enjoyed going to bass pro shops or cabela's i like looking at all the taxidermy and stuff like that uh so I've enjoyed it, but after being in this store, I was actually really surprised at the ammo prices. You're going to see them here in just a second, but let me tell you, it was a bit of a shocker, especially once we get into the life, the rifle ammunition and the prices on that. Stocks on the shelves were pretty decent, uh, but disorganized. So with that being said, we're going to start off with 22 long rifle and get into the Agula, they had the 40 grain standard of velocity, the 38 grain hollow point, and the 40 grain high velocity at eight cents a round. And then over there on the right, we have the 40 grain blazer at 10 cents a round. Moving on from there, we have the 45 grain American Eagle coming in at 12 cents a round. And then the 32 grain CCI Stinger at 20 cents a round. I also got the Winchester Super X, uh, a couple different variations, uh, all 40 grain at 15 cents a round, 10, 11 cents a round rather, and 12 cents a round coming up here in just a second. You'll see that. <clears throat> and then moving on from there, you've got the 40 grain Remington High Velocity Golden Bullet at 9.5 cents a round and Remington Subsonic at 14 cents a round. Got a couple different variations of CCI Mini Mag at 10 cents a round and 12 cents a round. And then moving into the bulk ammunition of CCI AR Tactical at 11 cents a round, Winchester Wildcat at 9 cents a round, Winchester Target at 7.5 cents a round, Winchester Super X PowerPoint at 12.6 a round, and Remington 22 Thunderbolt at 8 cents a round. So um, pretty consistent what we've seen with 22 long rifle. Moving on from there, we've got nine millimeters 
Hornady 135 grain flex lock critical duty at 136 around. Hornady 115 grain FTX critical defense at 120 around. Federal 147 grain HST at 175 grain at 175 cents around. And then we move on to uh, Winchester 147 grain defense at 60 cents around. Pretty good deal. Winchester 115 grain and 147 grain silver tip at 90 cents around. And then you've got uh, some herders, probably best price for jacketed hollow points. It's going to be their 115 grain jacketed hollow points at 50 cents around. So uh, inexpensive personal defense round. It is herders, so take that uh, with a grain of salt. Um, from there, we get into the ball ammunition or target ammunition. Um, and uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with Blazer and Winchester. Both of those were coming in at 32 cents around. Then over there on the right, you had the Ammo Incorporated at 30 cents around. Had to go out to the front desk to ask about the Herders 115 grain target, but that was 30 cents around. And then uh, Claire at the bottom, they had a 500 round box of 115 grain target at 36 cents around, so okay, I guess. I did get a request for 357 and 38 special, and the only thing that I was able to find for 357 was the Remington 125 grain jacketed soft point at a dollar around, so not very good. And then from there, we went to 38 special with the Federal 110 grain Hydroshock at a dollar 50 around, the uh, 90 grain FTX critical defense at 136, also the 110 FTX critical defense at 136, and 125 grain defense, Winchester 125 grain defense at 80 cents a round. Agula 130 grain full metal jacket at 58 cents a round. And then we had some Remington 158 grain UMC at 70 cents a round, and Federal 158 grain lead round nose at 68 cents a round. So there is that. Moving on from there, we've got 45 AARP starting off with Hornady 220 grain flex lock plus P critical duty at 175, 185 grain FTX critical defense at 170, 30, uh, 230 grain FTX custom at 150. We have 210 grain Hydroshock at $2 a round and 230 grain HST plus P at $2 a round. Moving on from there, we have 230 grain XTP subsonics at 160 around, 185 grain silver tip at 125 around. Then you got the SIG Elite Defense 185 grain, 200 grain, or 230 grain V crown at a dollar 20 around. Winchester 230 grain bonded jacketed hollow point defender at a dollar 80 around. Also had the Hornady 185 grain XTP American Gunner at $1.20 around, round. And then uh, that wraps it up for the personal defense stuff. Moving on from there, we did have some Winchester 230 grain subsonic at 76 cents a round. It's pretty good. Hoarders 230 grain jacketed hollow point. I guess this is the cheapest personal defense round at 90 cents a round. So um, forgot about those there. But moving on from there, we got the target ammunition. Coming up, we have an American Eagle 230 grain TSJ range ammo. This is the first time I've ever seen this type of ammo, but it was 76 cents a round. Also had the American Eagle 230 grain target at 73 cents a round. And then mixed in with it, naturally, as you'll see throughout this video, is the Winchester 230 grain hollow points. That's their defense load at $1.02 a round. Winchester 230 grain. Um, bulk uh, box, I guess is what I'm going to say. Uh, that was at 60 cents a round. That was a 100 round box. Yeah, that was 60 cents a round. Then they had a 200 round pack at 53 cents a round. So um, that's actually pretty freaking good for 45 ACP, 53 cents a round. Then over there on the right, you got the Remington 230 grain UMC at 70 cents a round. And uh, also some herders. 230 grain, that's going to be target stuff, 
Uh, that was at 52 cents a round, so kind of on par with that Winchester we just saw. Also had some Winchester 230 grain um, that was uh, a 500 round case, I believe, uh, if I remember correctly, and that was sitting at 62 cents a round. So um, surprisingly, that was more expensive, or is it 300 round case, I guess, but that was more expensive than the 200 round pack, odd. Uh, maybe my math was off, but I'm pretty sure I was on. And then finally, just kind of hidden away amongst other stuff, is uh, some Blazer 230 grain target ammunition that was uh, 56 cents a round. So that wraps up 45 ACP. Moving on from there, we have the best millimeter, 10 millimeter, but on this store or in this store, we didn't have a lot of variety. We had a Federal 200 grain punch which is $1.60 a round, and then Winchester 200 grain semi-jacketed hollow point was $2.05 a round. Moving on from there, we did find some ball ammunition. It was a Remington 180 grain UMC at $0.90 cents a round, and then also the SIG 180 grain FMJs at $0.98 cents a round. So that pretty much covers everything, and naturally you'll see that um, those three boxes, they're all the same. They're in the wrong spots. So I just moved them right on over as one should. Moving on from there, we got the rifle calibers and naturally we'll start with 5.56223. We have a lot to cover on uh, the rifle calibers, a lot of different selection at this particular store. So just bear with me and we'll get through it as best I possibly can. We're gonna start off with herders. We've got the 55 grain 223. That's a 200 round pack coming in at 53 cents a round. So to be honest with you, that's not too bad. If you don't mind herders, that's actually a pretty decent price for what I've seen um, online and in stores. Moving on from there, we do have some Winchester 55 grain 223. That's just gonna be your standard um, 223 from Winchester and that is uh, 70 cents a round. From there, we uh, also have some Remington 55 grain 223. It was at 80 cents a round. And then we're going to start getting into kind of our specialty ammunitions here in just a second. But um, as we can see, prices are starting to move up a little bit. So there's your uh, Remington stuff right there. I'm probably going to start speaking a little bit faster to get through this, but uh, here we go. We've got Remington 55 grain 223 high performance rifle coming in at $1.45 a round. From there, we have the Federal 170, excuse me, we have the Federal 73 grain 223 gold medal at $1.80. We have Federal 69 grain 223 Sierra gold medal at $1.40. We have Federal 55 grain 223 power shock at $1.20. And then we have American Eagle 55 grain 223 at 85 cents and Hornady Black 62 grain FMJ at 95 cents a round covering that shelf right there. Moving up from there, we have Hornady 55 grain VMAX Varmint Express at $1.35 a round, Winchester 40 grain Varmint X at $1.10 a round, Winchester 55 grain Varmint X at $1.25 a round, the SIG 60 grain Elite Series Solid Copper at $1.50 a round, and then Hornady 75 grain Boattail Hollow Point Match at $1.60 a round, and that covers that shelf. Moving on from there, we have some more specialty ammunition. It's Hornady 53 grain VMAX Super Performance Varmint at $1.50 a round, Herders 55 grain Soft Point at $0.90 cents a round, Winchester 55 grain Jacketed Soft Point at $1.10 a round, and then from there, we will find some, oh yeah, we have clear back down at the bottom. I missed it, but uh, we have the Remington 55 grain 223 Freedom Bucket. That's 77 cents a round. Um, for just 223, standard 223, I mean, yeah, it's a 300 round um, bucket, I guess, but that was a little bit too much. But way at the other end, we had the Winchester M855 556 NATO ammunition at 75 cents a round. And then from there, we had 150 round 
box at 67 states around of M193 and also a thousand round case at 60 cents a round of M193 as well. So um, they had some bulk, which was nice, uh, but still a little expensive. They also had some herders, 55 grain, 556 this time. That was 60 cents a round. So take your pick, either run um, 223 at a little bit cheaper price or spend a little bit more and get a little bit more power with 556. But they did also have the True Velocity 55 grain, 556 composite case at a dollar. 25 around so uh, interesting to see that last one I have yet to see that on shelves it's the first time I've ever seen it moving on from there we got 300 blackout we have the federal 150 grain fusion at a dollar 75 around Winchester 200 grain target at a dollar 40 around Winchester 150 grain deer season XP at a dollar 90 around and then rounding up the 300 blackout uh, there was probably some other sprinkled in through the shelves but we had the Winchester 147 grain target at a dollar ten. So yeah, it's gone up just a little bit. And remember when it used to be a dollar around. Also had a request for uh, 3030 Winchester. So let's take a look to see what's on the shelf for that. We have Federal 170 grain Power Shock at a dollar forty around. Hornady 60 grain FTX Lever Revolution at one ninety around. Winchester 150 and 160 grain PowerPoint at $1.45. Winchester 150 grain Deer Season XP at $1.50. Remington 160 grain Core Lock at $1.40. And Herders 150 grain Soft Point at $1.30. So that uh, covers 3030 pretty much. But again, there's more sprinkled in. And this is kind of my freaking um, rant right here is this store was just completely disorganized as you can see if you look closely you have 6.5 creedmoor followed by 6 creedmoor followed by 6.5 grindle followed by 6.5 creedmoor back to 3030 then to 6.5 prc then to 6.5 creedmoor once again it was just all over the place and it was really annoying to try to film this for you guys but with that being said, we're going to go ahead and move on to the 6.5 Creedmoor. A couple different rounds I hadn't seen before. So starting off, we've got the Federal 130 Grain Ascent at $3.25 a round, and then follow that by the Federal 130 Grain TSX at $2.75 a round. Federal 140 Grain Sierra Gold Medal at $2.25. Hornady 140 grain ELD match at $2 a round. SIG 129 grain Venari SP at $1.85 a round. Winchester 229 or 129 PowerPoints, excuse me, at uh, $1.45 a round. Hornady 120 grain ELD match at $2.20 a round. And then Winchester 125 grain Deer Season XP at $2 a round. So those prices, I can tell you, have definitely gone up. I shoot a lot of 6.5 Creedmoor, but got a lot of 308 to get through. So a lot of stock on the shelf. So really did like that. Let's get into it. We've got Federal 175 grain and 168 grain gold medal at $2 a round. Federal 165 grain Swift Sirocco at $3 a round. Federal 165 grain trophy bonded at 265 around. Federal 185 grain gold medal at 215. Way over there on the right. And then from there, we are going to move on to the um, kind of hunting round. Winchester 150 grain deer season XP at $1.90 around. Coming up here in just a second. We had one single box of the Hornady 165 grain CX Outfitter and that was at two dollars and ten cents a round so um, kind of odd you see these prices all over the place from there we have the Winchester 150 grain PowerPoint at a dollar fifty five around Hornady 178 grain ELDX Precision Hunter at $2.40 a round. And then Remington 180 grain Corlock at $1.50 a round. So uh, again, price is just all over the place. Uh, it's really weird to go from $3 to $1.50. 
Moving on from there, uh, we have the Hornady 168 grain ELD match at $2.35 around. The SIG 150 grain full metal jacket at $1.65. Hornady Black 155 grain AMAX at $1.90 around. And oh look, there's a box of Hornady Precision Hunter in the wrong spot. Imagine that. <laughs> but we also had the Hornady 178 grain boat tail hollow point match at uh, $2.15 around. And then Hornady 150 grain SSTs at $2.25 around. Moving on from there, we have Federal American Eagle 150 grain ball target ammunition at $1.75. We have 150 grain and 160 grain Hornady Interlock American Whitetail at $1.60 a round. We also have the Federal 180 grain Fusion at $2 a round. And then way over there on the right, you have the Hornady 165 grain CX Super Performance at $2.80 a round. And then rounding it all out, we have... Um, Federal 150 grain and 180 grain power shock at a dollar 55 around. So, uh, price is all over the place when it comes to 308, and uh, just really surprised at uh, what we're seeing. Definitely seeing prices bump up quite, uh, quite a little bit from what I've been used to. So, um, just take all of that with a grain of salt, because this is my area, not yours. Finally, we're gonna hit Boomerot 6. Um, this is going to be uh, quite a list of 30-06 cartridges, so let's take a look at what we've got. Starting off with Winchester, 150 grain, Deer Season XP at $1.90 a round. SIG, 165 Elite Series Controlled Expansion at $2.25 a round. SIG 165 Venari SP at $2.10 around. Herders 150 and 180 grain soft points at $1.35 around. So um, that one, actually, it's Herders. It's going to be inexpensive, so that's not too bad. Moving on from there, we have Remington 125 grain Core Lock at $1.70 around. Remington 150 grain and 165 grain Core Lock tipped at $2.45 around. They have the 180 grain core lock uh, RPR, I think is what it is, at um, $1.35. And then back to a 180 grain core lock tipped at $2.45 a round. So um, pretty pricey on those. Not, I don't have any experience with them, but it is what it is. So moving on from there, we have the Winchester 150 and 180 grain PowerPoint. Uh, that's coming in at $1.55 around. We have Remington 180 grain Swift Sirocco at $3.15 around. So pretty dang pricey on that one. And then we have the Remington 220 grain Corlock SP at $2.05 around. So once again, some of these um, niche cartridges are becoming more and more expensive. So just be prepared for that next time you get out there and try to find a specific round. Moving on from there, we've got the Hornady 150 grain interlock American Gunner at $1.40. So um, probably one of the better prices on the shelf for a specialty cartridge. You also got the Hornady 150 and 165 grain SSTs at $2.25 a round. Also got uh, 165 CX Super Performance at $2.65 a round. 178 grain ELDX Precision Hunter at $2.25 a round. And then um, you've got the 180 grain SSTs at $2.45 a round. Also got the Hornady 180 grain CX Outfitter at $2.20 a round. And then the American Eagle 150 grain full metal jacket boat tail at $2 around. Federal 165 grain and 180 grain fusion is sitting at um, $2 around. And then finally, Federal 150 and 1 
80 grain power shock at a dollar 55 around so that pretty much covers everything uh, that I was able to see again this store had a lot of um, rounds just intermixed with other types of cartridges and it was to be honest with you this was like the hardest video to um, to record for you guys but what I will say is they had a lot of variation on the different types of ammunition that was on the shelves however you also see a significant increase. So it looks like some of those contracts are done and over with and we're gonna start seeing this price increase uh, moving up, um, costing us more and more to get out to the range. So do what you can do to save money wherever you can. Um, if you're going to purchase online, I'd uh, suggest looking at AmmoSeq and uh, utilizing them so that uh, you can extract the most out of your buck and uh, save money where you can on that free shipping as well. So with all that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Thanks so much for you swinging by. I really do appreciate it. I will have a Excel spreadsheet down in the uh, pinned comment and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye y'all.